Crown. Welcome to Force Kite and Wake, everybody. I want to introduce the 2019 Slingshot Kite Foil. So, the design looks very different than anything guys you've seen before. So, in order to explain what's happening, I'll give you a little bit of history of uh, what we saw the last few years in foiling. Uh, and this way you will understand why we're so excited about the 2019 model. A few years ago, Liquid Force was one of the brands that developed the first mass-produced foil and everybody started foiling, right? So what happened the next year, we saw the industry going into fast, skinny wings, a lot of carbon, people were racing, they're still racing, and what we saw after the beginning of the foiling, people just start riding seat harnesses, start wearing helmets, life jackets, and they were just blazing with 30, 40 knots. And there were quite a few people doing that, but generally speaking, is nothing like today. What we see today is exactly the opposite, and this is why we're so excited about the new wings from Slingshot. What's exactly the opposite of wearing a helmet and a life jacket and going 40 knots? It's going slow, enjoy the day, turning around. A lot of kiteboarders got into foiling because now they can ride probably three or four times more uh, because foils are efficient and you don't need that much wind going. So for 2018 and 19, we saw the industry completely getting away from the fast skinny foils and actually a lot of kite boarders are enjoying something like this. Big fat wing up front, a foil that just glides slowly and smoothly over the water. You can turn around, you can catch a little wave with your kite. Uh, if you have a boat, you can just go behind your boat with your buddies, even though if they don't kiteboard, everybody can have fun on it. And generally speaking, I think Slingshot is leading the chart of going in that transition. You can see behind me how many wings they have coming up for 2019. Uh, we're gonna cover that in a little bit, the differences between all those wings. Uh, but I'm here to talk about the F kite. So why we're so excited about the F kite? It's first thing that I noticed right out of the box, we're gonna cover the wings in a little bit, is this new mast. It's 71 centimeter mast, and I'm so excited about it because originally the masts were about 100 centimeters, and people were buying as accessories a 24 inch mast, and we kind of figured it out, it's like, what is if we have a mast in the middle, right? It's like, the advantage of a shorter mast is it really helps the beginning when you're learning, recovering, learning your tacks, but then you almost have the need of a taller mast because the shorter mast doesn't give you enough time to recover. Well, this mast is right in the middle, so I don't think that you're gonna be needing a full-size mast. 24 inch, yeah, it's gonna make it a little easier, but this mast right in the middle, I kind of like pretty much sees it all. If you have a low aspect ratio wing, you're going slower, and this to me, it's the perfect size. Like last year, I remember, it's like, man, I should probably cut one of those masts the 100 centimeter mass, like just get a little lower so I don't wobble as much on my tacks. Just, you know, I'm there just to enjoy that weekend and just cruise around. So definitely the right move. I wish I see from all the brands dropping from 100 centimeters to something like this, especially when you're going slow, that's gonna be a blast. So I wanna show you a few details about the slingshot foil that makes it completely different than any other foil I've seen manufacturer elsewhere. Slingshot is the first foil, that, in my knowledge, that has two settings on the mast. I'll show you a mast that is bolted in the middle of the fuselage, kind of in the middle, and a mast that is bolted right on top of the wing. So you have two settings. It's called A and B settings. So what does it do really? Uh, if you have our mast bolted right on top of the mast, you're gonna find, uh, on top of the wing, sorry, you're gonna find that the foil is more steady, right? It's like it generates that lift, it feels solid when you're riding it, and that's a really good way to start with the A settings. As you progress, you may wanna experience with the B settings. So what is the B settings? Basically the mast is put behind the wing. So now what? simply what the wing will do is gonna have better leverage lifting you out. But also that's gonna make it a little bit more sensitive of how high you're going and how long you're going. So basically a leverage point over you. So what that will do, if you get to a point when you're learning how to pump the foil, that will be your setting. If you're surfing it, that will be your setting. If you're probably going behind the boat and you wanna pump that wake behind the boat, 
that would be a great setting if you're riding in completely light winds and you want to generate a little bit more apparent wind you can do that with that setting again this is after you graduate the original setting which is where we put the mast on top of the wing so the wing looks scary big right it's like hey now i'm sure that you guys are probably throwing the internet looking bunch of different pictures of foils and kind of like almost shopping by design and colors i don't want you to be afraid of the size of this wing it's going to start early and it's still going to be comfortable with 20 miles an hour wind the advantage of this light wing, uh, of, of this big wing is that it's going to give you smooth gliding so basically you can really go under power so it's going to start right around eight nine knots riding speed you're going to be up on hydrofoil but most importantly it's a flat wing so it's going to glide a lot it's going to glide very easy if your goal is to go 20 miles plus you should be looking at different foils if your goal is just to enjoy the day and not be scared of the light winds or being stuck somewhere that's the foil you should be looking at again yes does it look as sexy as all these foils here behind me probably not it's a nice chubby wing but i can tell you right now we've tried this wing and uh it doesn't matter how experienced you are everybody that came out of the water had a big smile on his face because it's fast enough and it's extremely easy to ride. So the wings are made out of carbon this year, which is, they, they made them a little bit lighter from last year's wings. Everything is from aluminum, so you guys are in good shape. If you're already into the slingshot bubble with foils, you can only get wings because all these components are basically interchangeable with the foils before. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested into getting into foiling or getting a new setup, please give us a call. We're here seven days a week. Uh, the phone number is 843-329-3004 and hope to see you in the water, right? With force.